Hi, I am Paul Roberts. This is Conscious Counseling 101. So I spent a little time in the last video talking about uh, the idea of falsification of Red 40 and different things like that so that you're buying into something that's a kind of a false advertisement, false notion. I'm going to go on with a little bit more of that type of talk in different veins. <laughs> I loved... Oh, it, it's only worth it just for one thing. But, you know, Michael Douglas, uh, he did a movie back in the uh, 90s called Falling Down. And it's only worth it to watch for the one scene where he goes into uh, the burger joint. <laughs> he says, look at this hamburger. Does that look like that picture up there? You know, it's, it's so stupid. It's so funny. It's pathetic. We laugh at it because nobody said it. <laughs> you took a man that had mental problems in order to do that. And a, a unique individual like Greta Thornburg, <laughs> you know, she had uh, she had some type of a mental uh, uh, thing. I don't want to call it a disability. It's just a little different. It takes somebody like that to say, look at you, leader of the free world. <laughs> you can't, you're all messed up. Can't count on you. This is what Emperor's New Clothes story is all about. My life purpose is to find some way. I realized I was that boy a long time ago. Way, 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 way early in my youth. But the goal that I have is to find some way to make that resounding sound that's so outside the norm to cause something to happen that wouldn't happen otherwise if the sound wasn't made. That's a, that's a hard task for a life purpose. To be aware of that since way early in your youth that you're that. To realize that everybody's on the same road, much in darkness, fostering one another's darkness. Now you say you have a political spectrum, one's polarized, the other one's polarized, the other direction, but together in unity, everyone's in darkness. And even the people that think they're in the middle, if they're necessarily just floating away on these lofty ideas of Buddhism and all this stuff and like this, they could still be in darkness. Somebody needs to be the little boy in the emperor's new clothes and say, you're not wearing any clothes. Come on, man. It's so obvious. Or the guy that yells out the window, I'm mad as hell. I'm not going to take it anymore. Somebody needs to be able to have that power, like the boy in Brussels peeing on the people down in the streets, disrupting a possible battle that would have taken place. Somebody needs to have that power. I call myself Art C1. I went to art school. I, I came to see what art was instead of artsy fartsy. That's why I came to see what art was and what art was not. In life, I see what value is, what, what humans are trapped by and tripping over, not seeing. But the thing that eludes me in my art battle, my art study is, how can I take what I see and help another to see it? And not just another, but everybody all at once. <laughs> I say to myself, well, Jesus was one of the greatest people that ever lived and he couldn't do it. But he said it wasn't his purpose to, to be seen by all and to, to, to give um, peace on earth. But because of him, brother would be against brother. So I'm battling for something that inevitably isn't meant to be done in this world. I'm battling in this heightened conscious, uh, conscious counseling 101 thing that I'm, that I'm working on here for the last 15 years. I'm battling for an ultimate life goal that is, is so unlikely that I will ever become something where I just say something and show something and the clouds lift and it's revealed. I can't talk to my own parents. Sometimes I can't talk to my own family without resistance. I'm not talking extended family and close family. I, it's so difficult to take concepts to, to me. I look at every single day and I see them as clear as day and offer them to someone else. Have them see them. I'm rebuffed. I was talking to my wife this morning at breakfast about that, that movie. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, Demi Moore, Demi Moore was in it uh, back in the early 90s. And it was about when people first started getting together on the internet and uh, they, they walked around in this place where 
they were a face, you know, the graphics weren't the best. They were a face of what they look like. And they come up to one another and they, they interact on the internet. And uh, the thing about the internet is everybody, the highest in society, the lowest in society, the lost, the found, the just every type of individual is given the same substance. What they say, however in darkness or however worthless it is, has the same weight to the undiscerning as everyone else. How can that boy that wants to be the person that says the emperor has no clothes ever arise to that ability in his humbleness and his humility with the rest of the world having the exact same amount of ability to say something that thwarts it off. How can one person do that? This is very much like Jonah must have thought. How can I walk into there and tell those people in that town what God tells me? I'm going to run away instead. Ended up in the whale, right? What about Moses? He didn't know what to say. He had to have been given it. When Jesus sent his disciples out, they didn't know what to say. He said, don't worry. What you need to say will be given to you. Well, a lightning bolt's not striking me. I see these things. I'm aware of them. What I'm lacking is the ability to find a way to share them so that someone else can also see them. And not just someone else, but vast numbers of people to cut through what we have here that's blinding us, keeping us on the road that is broad and leading to destruction and showing a light that the people in the darkness don't run from and try to rebuff and try to push down so they can have their earthly ways made stronger. But to have one force large enough to cut through it all, it just seems insurmountable. And every day I wake up and I work and I analyze and I figure out conscious counseling things for you all if, like, if you'd like to listen to them. Heightened conscious thoughts. I analyze and I think and I observe and I, I breathe and I let my spirit grow larger and I examine and I pick and I analyze and I throw out and I take in new things and I don't ever get to the level where I can just see how one day I'm going to lift the curtain and it's just going to be clear to everybody. I just don't know how to do that. But I know I was meant to do that. And so my life purpose is going to be about acting as if I was meant to do that, knowing that I probably never will be able to. Probably will never be successful. I say to my children, don't worry if you are successes in the eyes of men. Don't worry if you find yourself to be a failure. The thing that you subscribe to, the thing that you know to be true, that you believe in, live for that, and you will have succeeded even if no one else recognizes you, if your foundation was solid. That's the advice I give to my children. That's the advice I follow in my regular life. But it's frustrating, it's frustrating. Another day comes, I live another day. I do my things another day. I share another day. I serve another day. I bear my cross another day. What's going to happen today that wasn't like yesterday? I have to believe that there's some reason why this is being placed on my heart and why God has revealed these things to me and why I take the time to try to share them. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know what's ever going to cause the breakthrough. It's frustrating. But it'd be more frustrating to not... But it'd be more frustrating to not acknowledge, see what I see and say that I know that I see this. Even though I can't know it, it just appears this way. It'd be more frustrating to resist that and go down a road that blocks that out. To try to give me some kind of peace by being ignorant, by walking away from what needs to be done. more of a failure to not live for the divine purpose that I've been shown. And so I do what I what, what, what occurs to me. I do it. Because to not do it would be the true failure. 
And I may not, Jesus says, don't rely on your own understanding. I may not see what I'm doing. I may not see the results of it. The results may never be what I want them to be. But I've got to believe that making the better decision to call out and say, that emperor is wearing new clothes. That emperor is wearing new clothes. I'm not gonna see that result. <gasps> yeah, you're right. <sighs> but I've gotta do it anyway. Because I know it to be true. I believe it to be true. I operate on faith that it's true. I share that which I've observed, whether or not it's received by another. That choice to do that is more valuable than my choice to bury that under the rug. That's what my commitment to heightened consciousness sharing is all about. And when you come to Conscious Counseling 101 and you talk with me, I'm going to be able to share that commitment with you if you want that commitment also. I'm going to be able to help you in your own life circumstances to find ways to deal with the frustrations that you have of investing your talents and skills and your being in something that seems to be eluding you. I'm going to be able to be compassionate and empathetic to you because I'm already experiencing it half through my life. I'm going to be able to be a friend and a confidant that you can talk to that understands whatever you bring to my table and is willing to talk to you freely for no charge whatever you bring to this table. I just got to find a way to let anybody else see that, believe it, and activate it. To call out and be heard and have what I say be believed at least enough that it can be investigated into. Is he really not wearing any clothes? Hmm. I didn't think he was, but I was afraid to say anything. <laughs> Look at the effect that Trump has over our society now. Oh my gosh, don't say anything wrong. He'll give you a bad name, or he'll fire you, or he'll do something to make your life less. You'll lose out. We are living in a society of cowards. We are living in a society of people that will not stand for what they need to stand for. And even when someone says, that emperor is not wearing new clothes, or that emperor is really this, they won't admit it. That's how the Holocaust happened. Everybody was so afraid that they were going to be sucked down to the depths with everybody else and made to suffer too. Nobody would stand for anything. When you don't stand for anything, you can fall for anything. That's the world we're living in, the world of darkness. What would it take? You'd say the church. The church does it. No! The church gets it all wrong. Look at those evangelicals. <laughs> They've all come over to the side of ignorance. They've come over to the side of serving man. They've come over to the side of twisting and abominating what the, Jesus' teachings was. They've come over to the side where they feel like they can have everything in this world and still have everything in the eternal. And they're going to be thrown outside the banquet where they'll be wailing and gnashing their teeth because they'll have been discovered as wolves in sheep's clothing. That's what Jesus' teachings mean. Somebody needs to say that. Even if no one listens. I'm Paul Roberts. This is Conscious Counseling 101. And if you're hearing anything in any of these things I'm saying, look at the other videos. You'll see a consistent quality that examines every aspect of life and will ex examine any aspect of life that you may bring my attention to. And you'll see a quality that goes through the whole thing. That's consistent, practical, understandable, logical and also found it in things that can't be known at the same time. And you'll find a strength in that. And when you do, don't be afraid to talk to me because I will be there to talk with you. All right, I'm Paul Roberts, Conscious Counseling 101, and that's our car video for the day.